Hello, everyone. Welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is our third lesson on flight instruments. We're going to be discussing the altimeter. The altimeter measures the altitude above sea level. It is, receives information solely from the static port, and it's essentially an atmospheric air pressure gauge. Static air goes into the case, we can see here by the static port, and then there's an aneroid bellows, we can think of that kind of like a balloon, and that's going to expand and contract with changes in the air pressure in the case, kind of pushing on it. The size of this bellows then is transferred by a gear system to the needles on the altimeter to indicate the altitude. For our purposes, we can discuss three different types of altitude. The indicated altitude, is what the altitude that's indicated on the altimeter. We can have a pressure altitude. That's the altitude on the altimeter when we set the altimeter to 29.92 inches of mercury. One tenth of a inch of mercury, so let's say 2982 equals 100 feet. So sometimes you may be asked to figure out what the pressure altitude is. So just think of yourself, I'm sitting looking at my altimeter, I have my altimeter set, and now I'm going to turn the altimeter to read 29.92 inches or 29.92, and then based on 0.1 equaling 100 feet, figure out what the pressure altitude is. The true altitude is the actual altitude above sea level. The altimeter really doesn't have any errors. However, you must set the correct barometric pressure. If you do not set the correct barometric pressure on the altimeter, you will not get an accurate altitude on the altimeter. If the pressure outside is lower than what is set on the altimeter, the aircraft will be lower than the indicated altitude. Let's review. The static port supplies air to the case. The bellows inside the altimeter expands or contracts in accordance to the difference in air pressure. A static port blockage will result in under-reading in a climb and over-reading in a descent. If it is completely blocked, the altimeter will stop moving. Okay, our first sample question. You are flying an unpressurized aircraft. The hose connecting the static port to the altimeter develops a leak. What can you expect will happen? A. The altimeter will over underread in a climb. B, the altimeter will overread in a descent. C, the altimeter will indicate close to normal. D, A and B incorrect. Okay, so recall, we're not talking about a blockage. We are talking about a leak, okay? And this is an unpressurized aircraft, meaning the pressure outside of the aircraft by the static port and inside the aircraft will be approximately the same. So because the pressure is the same inside and outside, what will happen is the altimeter will indicate close to normal. Next question, you are flying an unpressurized aircraft. The pitot tube becomes blocked. What can you expect will happen? A, the altimeter will overread in a climb. B, the altimeter will underread in a descent. C, the altimeter will indicate normal. D, a and B are correct. So remember, where does the information come from in an altimeter? It is the static port. The pitot tube only supplies air to the airspeed indicator. This means C is correct. The altimeter will indicate normal. Here's our last question. Finally, one that's not a trick question. You're flying an unpressurized aircraft. The static port becomes blocked. What can you expect will happen? A, the altimeter may underread in a climb. B, the altimeter may overread in a descent. C, the altimeter may freeze in position. D, all of the above are correct. Correct answer is D. Remember, it's going to underread in a climb and overread in a descent, but if it's completely blocked, it will freeze in position. That concludes this lesson on the altimeter. We'll see you in the next lesson.